Good day everyone. Again, this is Dr. N. Santos and let us discuss training design. Training design is important and is always part of the project proposal. Specifically, in your project proposal, if you intend to conduct health education activity, then training design is very essential. This will help the community health nurse in effectively conducting health education. This serves as your plan or a tool for teaching in the community. How to make a training design? You should always consider that training should be aligned with objectives. Training design is part of the activities set in the project proposal. Training design will serve as a guide for all health teaching activities. Now let us discuss characteristics of an effective training. An effective training is designed after identifying the training needs and goals. It should be flexible. It should take care of the difference in the ability, aptitude, learning capacity, and emotional makeup of your participants. A good training should prepare the trainees mentally. It includes clear tasks. It offers time for questions, clarification, and dialogue. Be careful of too much content and too much ideas because trainings must have been presented in a chunk contents. Trainings must have elements of entertainment but not the only purpose and should focus on goal implementation that may affect and impact the trainees. Now these are the parts of the training design. It includes title, the date, the time, the venue, target population, the general objectives, the specific objectives, the content, methodology, the resources, and the evaluation. It also includes budget. Now note that the goal is a general statement which guides our plan towards a desirable outcome. On the other hand, objectives are strategies or implementation steps to attain the identified goals. Objectives are specific, measurable, and have a defined completion date. They are more specific and outlined. The who, what, when, where, and how questions of reaching the goals. Now, the content must be placed in this particular portion. Note that in putting content, it should be bulleted or concise. A separate learning detailed contents should be attached with the training design. The methodology is your strategy in carrying out your specific objectives. If your specific objective entails effective and efficient learning strategy or learning style, then you should have choose a strategy that will encourage participation and will entail maximum learning outcome of your participants. Example, if you intend to conduct health teaching among children ages 6 years old and below, then it should be presented in a more visual way. Perhaps a puppet show or a role play. This will help children to grasp and understand the content of the lecture. Whereas, 
if you intend to conduct the training among adult population, then a more informative and a more complex way of delivering your lecture or strategies that will address the need of the adult population. Perhaps a demonstration and afterward it will be followed by return demonstration that will help evaluate the learnings of the participants. Now resources can be defined or determined through human and material resources. And then evaluation. As always, you intend to know the outcomes of your activities. And then budget will be placed here for you to be able to know the costs of your training. So here is the sample training design, the title. Kumain ng masustansya para lahat ay masaya. Eat healthy, live happy. That is the catch. The date is specified in this particular sample training design. On April 15, 2020. The time is 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. The venue is Barangay Masaya Covered Court, San Lorenzo, Laguna. The target population are the residents of Barangay Masaya, Purok 1 to 3, San Lorenzo, Laguna. So note that this is a fictional um, information. And then the general objective to be able to develop menu or nutritious meals that can be easily prepared and with cheap and readily available ingredients in the community. Another general objective is to be able to conduct a cooking seminar demonstration on nutritious food preparation. Now, specifically, this will be presented in a more detailed objectives. So, demonstrate how to make easy but nutritious homemade food palatable to the family, especially for children to discuss the nutritional contents and benefits of the recipe. So this will probably help you to disseminate information in detail with your participants. So the content must not be fully placed here. A separate content could be attached with a training design. So note that the methodology that will be used here in this training design sample, group discussion, demonstration, and return demonstration. For resources, it will be facilitated by the students as the proponent, and the materials will be needed was specified. This includes pamphlets, visual aids, and cooking ingredients. And then evaluation pertains to the specific objectives. Each objective must be supported with an evaluation. So for more example of training designs and detailed examples, please see attached word file on this module which will be uploaded here in Canvas. So I hope that you learned about training design and uh, I hope that this will help you in your next activity of creating your own training design based on the project proposal that you created earlier. Thank you for listening.